Magaya offers different ways to create bookings, from a quotation, manually in your Magaya system, or from customer requests in the Magaya Digital Freight Portal. This video shows you how to create a new booking manually. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. Today, I'll show you how to create a booking directly in your Magaya system. First, I'll show you the options in the system. Then, we'll walk through creating a booking. And finally, we'll look at using and customizing the booking list. Let's get started. You can manually create a booking in the Magaya system by opening the Bookings folder and then working from the document or list view. The options from the Add button menu let you create, export, or import bookings for air, ocean, or ground. Magaya gives you a way to create a quick booking or a full standard booking. Quick bookings require less information than standard ones. So quick bookings can help you while you're on the phone with a customer or when you need to create a booking fast. To turn on quick booking, click the Actions dropdown and select Use Quick Booking Entry to check the setting on. To turn it off, uncheck it. Before we make a standard booking, let's take a second to talk about one more easy way to make a booking and that's with the trip schedules. The trip schedule is the list of the vessels or routes you own or carriers you use to ship cargo and other items frequently. Creating trip schedules for the trips you use often makes the information available when you schedule a booking for a customer, saving you time by automatically filling the information into the booking. To create a trip, click on the Add dropdown in the Trip Schedule folder. Select the type of trip you need and enter the trip information. Now that we understand the booking options and the trip schedules, let's make a standard booking. You can start from the Bookings document view or the list and open the Add dropdown. For this example, we'll select the Air Booking Import option. The Air Booking Properties window opens. Let's look at each tab one by one. First is the General tab. The Reference Number field is your reference number for the booking. This is also related to the house file number. The system automatically generates this, and you can configure it under the Maintenance folder. To add a carrier, select one from the drop-down here. Here, we can enter the Air Waybill number. If we have Air Waybill numbers in our system, we can use the Set button to recall them, or we can enter it manually. If you have a booking number, you can enter it here. Select your spotting date and cutoff dates and times. Enter where this booking was executed, by whom and when. You can enter a description of goods here, or click this button to recall any information. Click this one and then click OK. The Entities tab is where you select the entities for this booking, such as the shipper and consignee. Then we'll select our forwarding agent and destination agent. Here, select our client to bill using this dropdown. Now we can move to the next tab. The Routing tab is where you enter your trip information. You can either fill in the service type, mode of transportation, and the departure and arrival information manually in each field. Or you can use one of your trip schedules to fill in the information. To add trip information to the booking, click this button to browse your trips. Select the trip you need, then click OK to return to the booking. The departure and arrival information is filled in from our trip. You can add any needed transfers and customs codes here before moving to the next tab. In the Commodities tab, we can add the information about our cargo. The Load button is available if the booking is created using a trip, and it lets you select commodities set up in the trip you used. To include a container, click the Add Container button and enter the container information. Click the Get Items button to select items from pickup orders or warehouse receipts, if you have them. For any other cargo, click Add, then choose either Add Commodity or Add Vehicle, and enter the cargo information in the commodity or vehicle screens that appear. To add charges to this booking, we can do so in the Charges tab. Normally, charges are entered on the quotation level and are carried over, but if you'd like to add them here, you can. Click Add, select the type of charge you need, then enter the charge information. Click OK to add the charge to the booking and return to the Booking Properties screen. The Events tab lets you add an event to the booking if you'd like. The Attachments tab lets you add attachments such as documents or photos. 
If you click the Notes tab, you can enter in your notes, or you can click this button and select a clause from your predefined list. The Internal Notes tab is used to communicate among employees in your company. Do this by clicking the New button. Internal notes are not visible to customers. Finally, the Custom tab shows additional custom fields as needed. All your custom fields can be configured in your Maintenance folder. When you're done, click the OK button, and now you have your booking. It also appears in the trip if you used one to create the booking. You can make edits here if needed. Now that we created a booking, let's take a look at how to use and customize the booking list. In the booking list, closed bookings are completed, and open bookings are still pending. You can convert the booking into another transaction by selecting the booking, opening the Actions menu, and then creating a pickup order, warehouse receipt, or shipment. In this example, the Create Shipment option is not available because we added the booking to a trip. You have other options in the Actions menu, such as canceling bookings and running reports. To customize your booking list, open the Actions menu and select Choose Columns. In the screen that appears, use the checkboxes to select the columns you want to include in your booking list. Click OK to apply this view to your booking list and return to the list. To save this view, click here to name your custom view. Click OK to save the view and add it to your view dropdown here, so you can quickly get to this custom layout in the future. Magaya has the tools to help you streamline your booking process to keep your business and cargo moving. See our other videos and the knowledge base for more on import operations in your Magaya system. Thanks for watching.